Hello and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be talking about everything we know so far about Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. So starting off we know that the game will release this year in 2021 and it will be available on PC and previous and next gen consoles. So what we know so far about the story is that it follows Sherlock who is 21 at the time and he travels back to presumably his childhood home to figure out how his mother died and what may have caused it and when you get to the island you're also met by your childhood friend John and this John isn't the same as the one who wrote the books. I'm not too sure what to think about this John character because at the end of the announcement trailer he was flickering so it makes me think is he like a real person or is he just a figment of Sherlock's imagination? Could he be Sherlock's imaginary friend from when he was a child but he's grown up and he's thinking that he's real? We've seen something similar to this happen in the fourth series of BBC Sherlock, where Sherlock thought he had a dog and it was actually his childhood friend. So could a similar thing be happening in this game? So currently, that's all we know about the plot of the game, but we do know a fair bit about the gameplay itself. We know that the game will be fully open world and we will have the ability to talk and interrogate every character we meet to help out with a certain case. We also have the option to choose who the culprit is and whether right or wrong we can choose their fate. We also know that the combat system for the game has been rebuilt from the ground up and it will give players smoother control with combat and hopefully controlling Sherlock as a whole. The producer had this to say about a new feature being implemented into the game. In this game we are introducing the concept of global investigation gameplay that is heavily based on the feedback that we received from our previous games. We are bringing in numerous detective features and mechanics that not only synergize with one another but also allow you to interact with the world around you. Something that the producer stated in either the Comic-Con panel or the future game showcase was that there will be some interesting cases in the game like why does an elephant have to face a trial of humans and why are there these revenge pillars that have got knives stabbed into them and apparently every knife that is into the pillar represents a revenge that's been settled so hopefully that gives us the kind of idea of the kind of either main cases or side quests we will be getting within the game and then back in september of 2020 the official twitter page answered some questions that the fans had and kind of just shed more light on some of the bits of the game that we didn't know without spoiling too much so the first thing they said was that there will be five main quests or cases and they will be multiple hours long each. Also there will be 20 side quests and each one offers you a moral choice that you have to decide. They also said that the mansion that is seen in the announcement trailer you can renovate. So I'm not sure if there will be like a currency system within the game and a material system. I expect there will be if you're able to renovate the mansion. But they also said that certain parts of the mansion will not be accessible until you progress to a certain point in the game and these areas will also have like secrets and reveal past of the Holmes family. And the last thing that they said on their Twitter page was that you will be able to get costumes for Sherlock but some of them will only be accessible through side quests. And through a screenshot that was used during the future game showcase we can presumably customise the colour of Sherlock's outfits within the game. So that's everything we know so far and for the rest of the video I'll be kind of speculating and theorising about certain points within the game itself. So like I said previously I've already spoken about what I think about the John character and we know that it's not John Watson as his name is actually spelled different, it's J-O-N instead of J-O-H-N but I do think something is up with him especially because of the flickering at the end of the announcement trailer. I think that it is highly likely that the game will actually take place in either 1869 or 1870. I think that because on the gravestone of Sherlock Holmes's mother Violet, the year she died was 1869 and I could realistically see it taking Sherlock about a year to fully come to terms with his mother's death, so it's my guess that the game will take place in about 1870. So something about this game that interested me when the tweets were made in the end of 2020 was actually about renovating the manor and the fact that we will learn secrets about the Holmes family. I'm not too sure what secrets we can find out, like they might go as far as to say that Sherlock isn't actually a Holmes. I don't know, I don't know what secrets could be revealed and will they like imp 
impact Sherlock a lot. And maybe this could be the reason why he full-time moves back to London and maybe he gets Baker Street. Maybe at the end of the game, we will see Sherlock Holmes moving into Baker Street. That would be a pretty cool way to end it, in my opinion. And it would kind of like bring kind of full circle. And then maybe if they make more games, they've got like a new model of Baker Street, even though for most of the Sherlock Holmes games, they've kept the layout of Baker Street relatively the same. So I could just see them kind of, if they do do Baker Street, upscaling the current Baker Street that was in The Devil's Daughter and putting it into the Chapter 1 engine. I'm not sure if they're actually using a different engine from The Devil's Daughter, so you haven't seen any gameplay yet. But if they are, then I could definitely see them upscaling Baker Street in some way. Another question I had when watching the trailers for this game is that why isn't Mycroft with Sherlock on the island? Maybe Mycroft wasn't as close with his mother as Sherlock was, but it also got me thinking, will Mycroft be in the game at all? And maybe if he is, it could tie in with the, my Baker Street prediction earlier, that maybe at the end of the game, once the case of Sherlock's mother's death has been solved, Sherlock gets a letter from Mycroft, asking him to come back to London and saying he's got a property for him, and maybe Sherlock buys it off him, or Mycroft gives it to him, or maybe it's in Sherlock's mother's will that she left it to him, maybe that's where she originally lived when she was in London. If we do end up seeing London and Big Street in the game, then one thing that I don't want to happen is for the game to end with Sherlock and John meeting, as if Sherlock is going to be 21 in the game, like we already know, it wouldn't make sense canonically, because in a study in Scarlet, Sherlock was actually 28 when he met John, and I don't think them meeting at the end of this game would make too much sense unless there's like a time jump, but I don't really see that happening at the end of the game. So that is everything we know so far about Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Once more information comes out, I will be covering it in another video, but thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in another video.